How to install a Fisher plow harness onto a truck. Here we go. Um, find a place to mount your isolation module, assuming you have one. This is a four port. I don't technically need a four port, but I bought this used, and so that's what they had. Uh, find a place to mount it and plug all your stuff in. The first thing I did was I ran the wire that goes through the firewall through the firewall. And I'll show you what that looks like. This wire is to plug in your joystick or fish stick. Um, it's also to provide keyed power to the system. So once you have that through the firewall, you can find a place to mount the switch and supply it with keyed power. Then you start running your other looms. The first one I ran was the one for the power and the solenoid. So I mounted it here, I ran it through here. On this particular truck, going through the headlight hole works the best. And then I ran that over here, zip tied it to the front. I didn't go in here, so I stayed away from the radiator. And then I went in through here, came around here, and mounted my solenoid here. So this has a connector to your power lead which are these two wires, this ground and this power, and the ground has a ground off of there which connects into this, which grounds out the system. These two, doesn't matter which one goes on which, so you put the two small ones there and then you put the larger one on here. This comes from the battery, goes to the solenoid. Then your wiring harness, well, I've tucked mine in here, but the big one with the red and the black that line goes up here to your solenoid. That way the, the battery power stops here until the system says okay we've checked everything everything seems fine and they're lifting the plow and then the solenoid clicks and provides power down to the motor. So the second harness <clears throat> um, I guess really the last harness is the headlight harness which is really really simple and looks really really scary. So you have your headlight plugs. Basically this comes out of your out of your harness that you just install. This goes directly into your headlight. So does this one. And then the harness has these little things where you plug your old ones into and then you're done. There are also these three wires that come out of the headlight harness on the left side. And on this side there's this wire. These are for your turn signals. I have not wired these yet, but the purple one's for your turn signal, and I have no idea what the pink and brown are for. I have to look that up. Um, so that's what I have left to do here. And then there's two other plugs that come out of here, and they go directly to your plow, and I ran them through the headlight hole down here, under here, and they're tucked in here, which is awesome, so that I can pull them out in the winter time and leave them tucked away in the summertime. <clears throat> so, that's how to install a plow wiring harness thingy. Um, there's also these two things, which are most likely fuses. Um, I just put a bolt in there and connected them both down solid. There's also one extra port. This port is not used. It's for, like, programming this thing, which they said they don't do. Um, this, the one that's in number one is the service loom and the two plugs. But anyway, that's how I did it. So, thanks for watching.